Hey guys, um, Wednesday again. Um, God, I keep saying um way too much, so I apologize. The topic of the week is bullying, which is a very serious topic. Um, everyone gets bullied at one point in their life. I mean, even adults get bullied. I mean, some adults. So it's like, unfortunately, it's just a way of life. Um, if it's a serious issue, if it keeps happening to you, you should go to somebody about it. Um, an adult, or, you know, talk about it. You can even talk it over with a friend and just be like, you know, what do I do? But the best thing is always to go to somebody if it's serious, an adult that can, you know, stop it. I mean, chances are if you're getting bullied that badly, the same person is doing it um, to somebody else just as bad. So you should go to somebody. Um, that's all I really have to say about bullying. Okay, so, um, Brittany's question was, uh, if you could be any mythological creature, what would you be? Um, mine is so obvious, I mean, if you know me. Oh, it's so ridiculous, but I am a huge Little Mermaid, like, fan. And, uh, obviously, if I could be any mythological creature ever, I would be a mermaid. I mean, I even have a Little Mermaid nightlight. She keeps my bathroom lit up when it's dark in there. For Sarah's question, which t TV character would you want to be friends with or best friends with? That one was really hard for me because, I mean, there's so many to choose from. I think when it comes down to it, um, I would have chosen, you know, this was my favorite, favorite cartoon back in the day the Animaniacs because I would totally love being best friends with them because they always got into crazy antics. They were just, you know, they were annoying, they were like awesomely funny, they were silly. Um, the whole Animaniacs world, like, with like Pinky and the Brain, um, you know, it had that, that list of characters and I would just love to be best friends with like all of them. But if I had to be best friends with one of them, um, I would be best friends with Wacko because he is hilarious. He also, his voice, he sounds a lot like George, you know, the Beatle George, so, and I think that's what they base his voice on after, so I also thought that was really awesome, and because I also had a little crush on George, and I also had a little crush on Wacko, so, you know, the two go hand in hand, I would be best friends with him. When we make a cute couple. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's see, Monday's question was, um, oh yeah, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? I would probably, I, I'm really torn, um, I don't know if I'd want to fly, because that one would just be like, meh, I mean, it would be awesome to fly, but it's like, that's all you can do, if you're a superhero, really, that's all you can do, you know? I think I would want to... I think I would just really love being able to go through walls. That would just be amazing because it's like, hey, I don't have to open doors. I can just go through the wall. Or, you know, I don't have to step on those pad things at those giant double door open thingies at the supermarket because a lot of the times I have this really weird paranoid um, fear that I'm just going to step on one and like walk towards the door and it just doesn't open. And that happened to me kind of once. It was, like, really embarrassing. Like, every time I step on one, I I stop for, like, a split second because I'm like, what if it doesn't open? I always have that fear, and that fear would be no more if I could just walk through walls. Okay, and the most boring part of my day actually is when I just wake up because it's like, I'm tired, I want to go back to bed. But I have to do things, you know, basically, you know, the chore grind, like, ugh, I have to do this every day because I have to, and, you know, I mean, I'm just gonna keep babbling if I don't stop myself, so that's pretty much the most boring part of my day. Oh, you know what's funny? I never answer my own question, um, but if I could live in any time period ever, it'd probably be a couple different periods, like, I really love the Victorian area. Like, I just love it. The, I hated women's rights back then. Like, they had none, pretty much. But, I mean, it was so, like, it was like the age of romanticism where, 
you know, gentlemen were gentlemen and, you know, ladies were ladies and, I mean, I hate the, the whole lady, being a lady part, but, I mean, the idea is, like, intriguing, like, they had pretty, you know, gowns. Okay, here's a question and it's ridiculous, but if you were a dinosaur, which dinosaur would you be? And why? I'll answer my own question in this video right now. I would be a raptor. Yeah, they're awesome. So the challenge of the week is to write a song for someone in the Five Freaking Friends. And I got a song written for me, which was really awesome because Windows Movie Maker really wanted me to like die. I can't sing and I can't, I mean the only thing I can really do on guitar is like Alkaline Trio covers and covers to my favorite songs. This is a song for Chris and it's not even really a song, it's like, okay, I'll shut up. <clears throat> Chris, you helped me with Windows Movie Maker, except for you didn't really help me because, I mean, tech, you weren't like really tech help, you were singing help so if that makes any sense <laughs> and oh no I'm really nervous right now and it made me feel better and it made me want to try again um yeah and I'm only doing the C and D chord over and over again but that's okay and I don't even know if this guitar is in tune I'm assuming it is, but I'm too lazy to tune it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. There can't be a Christine without a Chris, because it's true. Because without Chris, you can't spell Christine. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> That's my song.